Here we presents the top 5 best mouse for Mac. Starting at number 5, Logitech M510. The Logitech M510 is a very straightforward wireless mouse that has a fairly generic design. It's a rather heavy mouse since it uses AA batteries for power. Its performance isn't suitable for high sensitivity users as it can only go up to 2200 CPI. This is an affordable mouse for people who don't care much about how accurate or responsive the mouse is, but simply want to browse the web. However, this mouse might be a bit big for people with small hands, but there is a smaller version available, although we didn't test it. It's also fully ambidextrous as you can switch the left and right clicks, if you want to use it left-handed. The Logitech M510 is a very generic-looking mouse. It has an ambidextrous design with a curved-in body, which acts as a small thumb and pinky rest. This design is rather straightforward, and is nowhere near as flashy as gaming mice. The Logitech M510's build quality is just decent. It's a rather cheap mouse, and it shows when you hold it. The mouse is entirely made out of plastic. There are also rubber grips on the side, which might become sticky with time. The mouse wheel feels extremely loose, and there's some noticeable rattling when shaking the mouse. The side buttons also have a lot of pre-travel, and need a lot of force to entirely actuate. The overall build is still decent for most people, and there's some heft to the design. Unfortunately, the feet don't offer the best gliding. The Logitech M510 is decent for the office. This mouse doesn't have the best sensor performance, but it won't matter for generic web browsing or office work. Unfortunately, its ergonomics aren't the best due to its fairly odd curves. On the upside, it's completely wireless and offers a good amount of programmable buttons to make your work a bit more fluid. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. At number 4. Logitech MX Master 3. I know it's sad to call a mouse your best friend, but when it comes to boosting productivity with one piece of hardware, the Logitech MX Master 3 is worthy of the term BFF, because I don't plan on parting with it anytime soon. The biggest design change Logitech made with the MX Master 3 over the MX Master 2s and MX Master is in the scroll wheel, which has been updated with electromagnetic technology and dubbed MagSpeed, that lets you toggle between smooth and precise scrolling modes. It's the only part of the mouse made in Switzerland. While the older MX Master Mice's wheels can also scroll in small, line-by-line -line increments or spin freely, they make some noise when doing so. Even when scrolling line-by-line, -line, with each line creating a click of friction you can feel, the MX Master 3 is silent. On top of that, when in free spin, the wheel spins for much longer and more smoothly than the mice's predecessors, or perhaps any other mice I've ever used. In free spin mode, when the wheel spins speedily and friction-free, the electric current inside the module is changing the polarity of the electric magnets, so now the magnetic force is not interacting with the steel wheel, letting the wheel go as fast as it can, like a spinner, passing 1000 lines a second. It differs from just clicking in the wheel and scrolling, because it offers more precision, especially when you want to stop. They say you shouldn't reinvent the wheel, but when you can make it smoother, quicker, quieter, more responsive and just plain more fun to use, why not? Logitech managed that with the MX Master 3, while also enhancing its ease of use with a highly customizable button layout that's almost completely navigable without taking your hand off the mouse. Halfway of my listed number 3. Razer Naga Trinity. I've always been a fan of Razer's MMO-focused Naga mice, even though I've never really used them much after reviewing them. That might change with the Razer Naga Trinity, a best gaming mouse selection that's just as good for World of Warcraft iHerds as it is for people looking for everyday productivity. It's hard to ignore the religious implications in the Naga Trinity's name since it too, comprises three distinct entities in one body. You can swap out the thumb panel at will, thanks to some well-placed and fairly powerful magnets. It takes a minimum of force to pop off the panel, but unless you specifically try to remove it, the Naga's left side isn't going anywhere. The 12 button layout is the most straightforward of the three. The hex layout has seven buttons surrounding a central, ridge thumb rest. The simple layout is two curved buttons and the large, ridge thumb rest underneath them. All three panels are easy and comfortable to hold, although you've seen them before on other Razer mice. The most important and most distinctive feature of the Naga Trinity comes in its swappable side panels. However, there's not that much to actually write about them. They simply work beautifully, successfully turning the Naga from a genre-specific one-hit wonder into a versatile powerhouse. 
The Naga Trinity is by no means the first of its kind. The Rock Cantonith pulled the same customizable MMO mouse trick a few years ago, and did an excellent job of it. The Nith has subtler customization options, as well as the option to swap out the right side of the mouse, depending on what kind of finger support you want. Furthermore, the Nith comes with a case to hold all its extra parts. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. Coming in at number 2. Logitech Cam X Ergo. Few things in computing have stayed quite as consistent as the keyboard and mouse. With each passing year monitors reach ever higher resolutions and frame rates, graphics cards pack in more and more teraflops of graphical horsepower, and CPUs add more cores and greater clock speeds. In contrast, although peripheral manufacturers will always make bold claims about the speed and reliability of their products, the keyboards and mice they produce are fundamentally the same from year to year. Of course, trackball mice are nothing new, having actually existed for longer than the more standard mouse, but they've remained a more niche device in recent years. Logitech has remained the most prominent seller of trackballs. It put out the Logitech M570 trackball back in 2010, and prior to, the, the ambidextrous trackman marble in 2008. Despite being around for so long, it's not hard to see why trackball mice have remained niche. There's just something that looks intimidating about using your thumb to push a ball around, rather than moving the entire body of the mouse. Ultimately, these features never detract from the rest of the product. They're there if you want to use them, but equally they're easy to ignore if you don't. And number 1. Logitech M720. The $69.99 list Logitech M720 triathlon mouse is, on the surface, a great idea for a premium mouse. Programmable actions, easy access buttons, and the ability to be used as a multi-device mouse edit apart. And it delivers on all that, if not quite to the same degree we expected. The triathlon mouse is something of a sibling to the Logitech K780 multi-device keyboard, a similar general concept of input device. However, the M720 triathlon mouse is a Bluetooth device that works with all device types, but iOS ones. The omission seems strange, given that the K780 supports iOS. We had, in fact, noted in that review, how we wanted the K780 to have an integrated touchpad for seamless motion and keyboard control without having to finagle with and switch through two input devices. We'd hope the M720 could fill that void, but Apple doesn't officially support mice on any iOS devices, so we can't put the blame for its absence here squarely on Logitech. That said, even the Android support is limited to Android 5. 0 or later. So if you've got an older Google device, you may have to look elsewhere, or upgrade your tablet or smartphone. The setup process is straightforward, pull on an underside tab, so the battery will be made available, remove the battery cover to access the dongle, jack in the dongle to a USB port, and you're off. That part, at least, is as easy as it gets. The M720 triathlon mouse has a comfortable design, and is packed with no fewer than 8 buttons. And the mouse is modestly sized, those with hands large or small should find it a satisfying middle ground. Logitech's M720 triathlon mouse is easy to share wirelessly across up to 3 computers or Android devices, but we miss support for iOS, and the scroll wheel is too sensitive. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button. Share with your friends. And be sure to subscribe.